if we go full force into cancel culture, then we're canceling uh, uh, most, if not all, of our history. Alberta's premier criticizing cancel culture, pointing out Canada's problematic past on both sides of the political spectrum when asked about removing the names of controversial Canadian historical figures. One political watcher says although the premier does have a point, his timing was terrible following the horrific discovery of the remains of 215 children at a former residential school site in Kamloops. That news really has highlighted uh, that these wounds of the past are fresh for many people. Uh, so there has to be a bit of sensitivity. Kenny cited examples like the leader of Canada's socialized medicine movement, Tommy Douglas, and Canadian feminist icons, the famous five, who had positive views of eugenics. Kenny says people shouldn't yes, be judging yesterday's historical years. figures by today's uh, yes, moral standards. These flawed individuals uh, give us an opportunity to make things better for ourselves. Political experts say the Premier's timing is poor. This come loose event is a specific Canadian reality uh, and uh, we politicians need to divorce that rallying cry of council culture from this specificity of, 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 of our historical past. The Grand Chief of Treaty 6 tells City News they are appalled by the Premier's statements coming at a time when Canada's First Nations communities are grieving. It's, it's uh, something that wasn't new for us. Council culture has been uh, there since uh, you know, uh, legislation that was being placed on us or calling on the governments, you know, to uh, move a lot quicker than the way it has been. Uh, like I said before, action speaks louder than words. In Edmonton, Darcy Robchan, City News.